A reality competition when launched our next guest's headliner status in Las Vegas for more than a dozen years, but he's not headed into retirement. In fact, Terry Fader is on the road again to get the scoop on where he's headed in the Mid-South and more. Terry is live, live with us and you have a little friend, Terry. I, yes, I, I'm Winston. This is Terry. Yes, this is Winston, the impersonating turtle. If you saw me on America's Got Talent 17 years ago, you know that uh, Winston, I won the show. Yes, without him, would not have happened. We're very excited to be bringing our show to Senatobia, Mississippi. So excited. We got lots of family in the area. And uh, we're going to be open for at, uh, at 30 minutes before the show with the Catawar brothers. So... That's my uh, brother-in-law is Mike Cadawar and his brother Jerry. So we're going to have a lot of fun. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, shout out. I love it. You, you gave the shout out because they're here. How did you get into ventriloquism? I know I've tried to do it. It's just not. It's really hard. <laughs> yeah, I can do it too. Hey, look, see, I can talk about moving my lips. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing. Yeah, I found a book in my school library on how to be a ventriloquist. And uh, <clears throat> I checked it out when I was 10 years old back in 1975 and uh, just decided pretty quickly that uh, that's what I wanted to do for a living. Yeah. yeah, it's a fun thing to do. It really is, yeah. Wow, okay, you also sing. Talk to me about that part of your talents. Well, I've always sang. In fact, I sang before I started doing ventriloquism. And, uh, and what, I, what I didn't realize was that I had the ability to do impressions of singers without moving my lips. And so that's really kind of what changed everything for us. Yeah. And then he found me the impersonating turtle, so I can sing like everyone. Yes, he can. <laughs> so anytime I can't do a voice, I just let the turtle do it. Right. It, it works. It does. <laughs> okay. So Winston, the impersonating turtle, and Maynard Tompkins, the Elvis impersonator. <laughs> those are those are some of the the things that you do. Oh, yes, we've got all kinds. We've got the sexiest puppet ever created. We've got the coolest puppet ever created. Vicky the Cougar, you don't want to miss her. Maynard, the, uh, Maynard, the world's greatest Elvis Presley impersonator, um, who is kind of, I think he's from the Ad area, from the Mississippi area. Uh, so you need to make sure and see him. It's very, the show is incredibly funny. I can promise you that you'll laugh. Yeah, you'll laugh so hard that your sides will ache. That's right, your, la your, your sides will ache. Very, very funny show. But you're also going to see a whole lot of fun impressions of uh, ranging from modern music to even like Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley. So just every style of music is representative and is represented and lots and lots of funny, funny stuff. Right. <laughs> Can you talk about the transition between, uh, first of all, it's just, I know it was a long time ago, right? But one day there you are on a reality show and then oh. it, it propels you into another direction was did your life change exponentially and if for anyone looking back can you just explain what that's like on the path of your life's journey <laughs> You know, it, it didn't change as much as people think because wow. I was performing as a ventriloquist professionally full time. So I was doing, you know, 300 plus 330 days a year performing and doing fairs and, and schools. And so what what happened, though, was instead of me always having to drum up a crowd, as soon as I won the America's Got Talent and became a headliner in Las Vegas, suddenly people were coming from all over the world and paying for tickets to see me. So it did change in that way. And that was an amazing thing. Thing. But I got to be honest, I have worked so hard and I'm constantly writing new material and I'm constantly creating new characters. So I just didn't have a chance to let uh, let the fame and fortune go to my head because I just love constantly making new things and bringing new routines out for people, for my fans to enjoy. So it's just been a wonderful, fun ride ever since. <laughs> I see you have a lot of friends in and around you. Do you have a favorite? You can cover the turtles ears. Are, do turtles have All right. I'm paying attention. Well, you know, Winston actually is my favorite. Okay. Of course I am. <laughs> right. But, you know, I do have a couple of others. Uh, my my sentimental favorite is Walter T. Airedale, my cowboy puppet, who, by the way, will be at the show um, because he was my very first real professional ventriloquist uh, uh, puppet that I ever got. Got him as an 18th birthday present when Aww. my family realized I was going to do this for a <laughs> this living. This is life. My favorite, my favorite to perform has to be Maynard Tompkins, the Elvis impersonator. He's hilarious, and so many things happen, and I really kind of riff with him and let uh, go off script. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Where can people catch up with you this Saturday? 
Oh, man, you can see me at the Heindel Performing Arts Center uh, there in San Antonio. We're going to be bringing the show there to Mississippi, which is great because my wife, Angie, was born in Mississippi. I believe it's Greenville, Mississippi, and she went to uh, Ole Miss. So, so that's her old stomping ground. She's so excited. We have family that live in Memphis. We're going to be having a lot of family come in. And uh, this is a show you do not want to miss. No, I, I trust me, you're going to carry the joy for an entire week, even longer. It's going to make you feel very, very happy. So bring the family out. Enjoy the show. I'm sure there will be a packed house because everybody wants to meet Winston. Thanks, of Winston. <laughs> Bye, Terry. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. <laughs> $10,000.